So the arch over here is basically this particular hollow. Yeah. This is from that Atlantis farm in Dubai. So in order to get that particular arc, we have ours, we have to scan this QR code or go to this particular link. I have got the art downloaded already, so let me just hide this sketch over here. Now I will be inserting the art over here. To get it done, let's go to insert. Make sure that you have it downloaded. So go to insert attached canvas to the base. I'll be choosing uh, the plane, which is this one over here, this particular plane. Yeah, and then I will choose the select image. I will go for Arabic Arch Canvas. I choose that and increase the, and I click Open. Then I click the Canvas Opacity over here, increase it. The problem it says is that it's not visible. So let's, that's because the canvas over here is hidden. Let's click on the bulb so it's actually shown. Yeah. But then the banner home building is also shown. We can hide it by clicking on the bulb over here. Yeah, now we have the Arabic cars over here. Let's increase the opacity to 100. And let's try to bring it up onto the base. That's around uh, 32, I would say, or 33. Let's put 32.5. Yeah. So I got it adjusted over here. Now I click OK. Now the picture is here. But as we did earlier, we will have to calibrate the picture and then increase the size accordingly. So let's uh, calibrate the picture first to get it done. Let's hide the body. Yeah, because we need to calibrate this first. To get it done, let's go to Arabic Arch Canvas in the canvases. Right click, calibrate. And the calibration should be 72 millimeter from the top to the bottom. So I will click on this point over here. Yeah. This is my starting point. And onto the top. This is over here. Yeah. It's a bit towards the left, I think. No, it's here. Yeah. It's a bit an angle, right? So let me undo it. I'll do again, right, click on the Arabic Arch Canvas, Calibrate. I'll start the first point over here, and then I'll go straight down onto here. So that would be 72 millimeter, and then I click Enter. So I've got the arc done. Now I will be unhiding or displaying the bodies. So the picture is done here. Now we need to adjust the canvas onto the top part of the base. So let's right click, edit canvas, bring it up. Yeah. So I adjust it accordingly where it is onto the top. This line over here should be onto the base. So to get that done, we need to bring it a bit down. Let's see, one, 32. 32 is a perfect one, I think. Uh, let's put 31.5. Yeah, perfect. So we have it over here. Then make sure the center line is along the center of the arc. Okay. The center line of the Bandra home building should be along the center of this arch over here. Then you click OK. Next, we need to draw the, I mean, we have to insert points along the I mean, curve of the arch. To get it done, let's go to sketch. Uh, let's insert point first. So in order to get it done, we need to choose this plane over here in the same plane as the arch. And then we click over here. Yeah, we have the point done. Now we need to draw a line from the point to the center and then from center to the top, which is over here. Yeah. So to get it done, let's go to sketch, line, yeah, sketch, line. Then we click on this point that we created onto the center, yeah, and then from the center point onto the top, which is over here. 
Yeah. So we got the lines. Now press escape on your keyboard. Then go to sketch, start inserting point. So I will be inserting point over here. Over here. You can insert as many points as you want. As I said earlier, the more points you have, the better accuracy the sketch will have. So we have created the points now. As we did earlier, let's go to Sketch, spline, fit, point spline. Let's start from this point onto this, then this, this, this. Yeah, it's okay. So if you look closely, there has been some small errors over here for example this particular line yeah to get it sorted out we could press escape and adjust as we need but then that's, that would change all the directions yeah so make sure when you put the points put as many as you need just to increase your uh, accuracy of the curve Next thing that you would do is mirror this particular line over here along with the curves. Yeah. To get it done, let's go to sketch, mirror, and then choose the objects, which is basically just these lines over here and this line. And then for the mirror line, choose this line that you sketched earlier. Okay, objects will be the bottom line and this curved line. Mirror line would be the straight line over here. Then you click OK. So it's mirrored onto the other side at the same time. Now we can click Stop Sketch or it's up to you guys. Now let's click on the Home button. We'll, we'll need to extrude it, right? So let's go to Create, Extrude. Yeah. Let's click on this, as well as we need to click on this. Yeah, we have to click both the sides of the both sides of the arm, and then make sure the settings are as shown here. Profile one side. Instead of extend, we can keep it all, and then taper angle zero. We could click on the flip or over here, and then let's try to drag it along yeah all distance let's keep it symmetric so let's make it until here yeah it should be complete let's try to bring it as much as possible yeah that's the maximum we need yeah so that's around 50 millimeter and then click ok now we can hide the canvas. We have got the arc as we need. Yeah. So the arc is extruded. The home building is done. So now you can see that the ohm building. Ohm is basically, you know, the unit of resistance. That's why it's called ohm. And we have the arc, arc extruded inside the ohm building to have the all over here now in the own building we have the design or the extruded part on one side but not on the other side to get this onto the other side we have turned the mirror from one side to the other earlier right so that's the mirror over here yep we will drag it and keep it at the end so when you do that the mirror automatically goes to the other side as well 
so as of now we are done with the own building design yeah now we need to combine these into one particular now this is one body this is another body and the base is a different body so we will combine all this to be one single body to get it done we'll have to go to modify combine we choose this one this body and then this body and make sure the operation is joined then click ok so all these become one single body next part is to shell or make hollow on the bottom part in order to get it done let's go to modify shell click on the bottom face of the base and then let's change the thickness to be 2.2 millimeter and then direction to be inside the computer is getting stuck a bit Okay, so we have got the shell done at 2.2 millimeter towards the inside and then we click OK. Now that we have it ready, next part is to create holes for us to insert the LED once it's 3D printed. Yeah, so we have to create the holes. The reason why we are making it, uh, I mean making holes is because it's a smart Dust lamp with LEDs, right? The dust lamp is basically light. So to make the LED holes, let's go to sketch, circle, center diameter circle, and then we need to choose the YZ plane, Z, Y, so which is basically this plane over here. We choose this, and uh, along the center line, we cl create circle six circles yeah along the center line we create six circles so let's make the circles to i mean random numbers that should be fine so we create circles of six circles yeah so one done now circle center diameter circle angle circle along the center line put over here and then one more so two done this is the third one, this is the fourth one, this is the fifth, and this is the sixth. Yeah. If you want, you can insert more, it's up to you guys, but let's just go with six. So we have to make these circles to be on the same dimension in order to get it done. Let's Choose the first circle which is over here, yeah, and right click on it, sketch, sketch dimension, and we can see the dimension of the circle diameter to be 6, we change it to be 5, and press enter. Now that we have the first circle dimension set as 5 millimeter. Let's press Ctrl or the CTRL button on your keyboard. Choose the first circle, then choose the second. Make sure you keep holding the Ctrl button when you choose the circle. So you have to choose all the six circles while you're holding the Ctrl button. And then on your sketch palette, go down and click Equal. So when you click Equal, all the circles, since the first circle was set 5 millimeter, become what? 5 millimeter equally yeah now that we have done with it next part is to extrude it extrude the circles that are set but before we extrude we have to make sure these circles are at a certain uh, dimension difference or the certain uh, distance from each other so in order to make sure of that let's go to sketch dimension sketch dimension click on it so click on the center of the first circle, click on this part of the base and then click on the side, set it to be 9 millimeter. yeah. So the first circle center to the bottom line is 9 millimeter. then 
second circle center with the first circle center sets it to be 11 millimeter then third circle center with the second circle center sets it to be 22 then fourth and third circle centers to be 11 and so and then fifth and fourth to be 22 sixth and fifth to be 11 again so we have the circles set at a distance from each other so once these are done press escape so you can quit the sketch dimension option now we have to expand the create toolbar so let's go to the create and then we do the extrude option now we need to choose the profiles so we have to sort of choose these circles so we need to choose all the six therefore we have to press and hold the control button when you choose the circles only then you can i mean select all the six circles and then we for the axis yeah we have chosen all this and then after that's done let's wait this is actually revolved let's that was a mistake from my side sorry about it let's cancel it go again to create extrude press control choose all the six circles yeah Okay, I've got all the six circles selected go to the stop and change it to from object and rotate the, the 3d object a bit towards the front view and then for the object option click on select and choose the face over here this face yeah we choose that face offset zero direction one side extend and the distance type it as 16 millimeter one yeah when you type it to be 16 since we start set the start to be from object and the object is set to be this face the circle holes will be starting from this particular face and then going 16 millimeter inside and that's why it's been cut then we click ok so when we click ok we get the holes done now we need to bring the holes onto the other side so we need to mirror these features onto the other side for that go to create click on mirror then choose the pattern type to be features and the object let's choose this as extrude number five and then the mirror plane let's choose as the xy plane which is this one sorry not xy but zy yeah and then we click ok so we have got the holes on the other side as well now that we are done with the design all we need to design remaining i mean all we need to do is to create a bottom cover for the design but before we do that let's try to save this file in order to get done with it go to file click save as uh, bandra home building with led hole yeah and then save onto the folder that you are saving your designs to and then click save so by then it should be saved and then you can see it being saved over